Man trapped in ATM gets withdrawn by cops. A Texas contractor found himself held captive by a cash machine and had to go old school to get out. The worker was changing the locks for the ATM vestibule when he was locked in because he left his swipe card in the truck. Poor fella also left his phone so he couldn't call for help. But the ATM was working just fine and what he did have was a pen and paper. He resorted to slipping notes through the receipt slot, begging people to please help. I'm stuck in here and I don't have my phone. Please call my boss. Unfortunately for him, everyone who got the note thought it was a bizarre joke, and the poor man was stuck for two hours until someone took it seriously enough to call the cops. Even the cops didn't think it was for real, even after they heard a little voice coming from the machine. Still, they eventually came to the man's rescue, kicking down the door to finally get him out. <laughs> now there's a man who's never been so happy to get away from a cash machine. <laughs> Crazy! Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Here's more people who got stuck in unusual places. Tennessee toddler gets stuck inside toy vending machine. Colin Lambert gave his family quite the scare after sneaking his way into a toy machine at a Maryville, Tennessee laundromat. The 18-month-old was with his grandmother, Diane O'Neill, on Tuesday, when she says he began to play with the door of a claw crane nearby. While Grant was momentarily distracted by a text message, Colin snuck his way into the arcade game and had to sit tight until firefighters arrived to free him. According to his family, the little tyke has quite the habit of finding his way into tiny spaces. Oh crap baskets! Norwegian Kato Bernstein Larsen got into some seriously deep sh** for a friend last week. How deep? This deep! His buddy lost his phone down a South Norway crapper, and being the slimmer of the two, <laughs> Larson decided to jump in on after it. He became trapped in waist-high excrement inside a sewage tank that's only emptied once a year. Larson was terrified and said it was disgusting as hell. We can only imagine the horror. <laughs> Four firemen were called in to yank Larson out of the poop chute, and the crapper was destroyed during the rescue. We say good riddance. Who knows what kind of Nordic poop demons were lurking in there. Larson was taken to hospital and was reportedly a little traumatized, but no overall okay. And at the end of it, he got his buddy's phone back. Now that's what we call a true friend. American exchange student gets stuck in stone love crack. This American exchange student in Germany found himself literally caught between a rock and a hard place when he accepted his friend's dare. There's a statue on the campus of Tübingen University, which is just south of Stuttgart, Germany, called Pichakan. That's Peruvian for lovemaking, and the statue is shaped like a giant vagina. So, of course, it makes perfect sense that two goofy exchange students from the U.S. decide to try to reenact their own births on a dare for all of Instagram to see. However, it seems that they failed to realize that this was only a representation of the female organ, and they both forgot to bring some industrial strength lube. In the end, the stuck student was freed from the anatomically correct crevasse while getting laughed at by locals, jeered by firefighters, and pointed at by little kids. Bunch of freaks. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Firefighters use olive oil to free man with his head stuck in rocks. A Rhode Island man got his head stuck in rocks on Saturday while trying to reach for his dropped cell phone. The poor dude got trapped all the way up to his chest after he bent down to reach the phone on a rocky jetty in Narragansett. We can only imagine what that 911 call must have been like. <laughs> Firefighters tried for over two and a half hours to pull the guy out, but to no avail. Then they got a bright idea. They greased the man in olive oil and were then able to free him. He's in the hospital, but is said to be okay. A local fire captain told WJAR NBC 10 that they've had similar cases to this in the past involving animals, but never a human. Well, guess there's a first time for everything. Curious Chinese woman gets stuck between two giant rocks. <laughs> Christine! 
a recurrence of 127 hours in real life in China? Luckily, it was only an hour, and no penknife was needed. Curiosity killed the cat, but for this woman in China, curiosity got her stuck between two large rocks. The woman was touring in Mudanjiang in Heilongjiang province, northeast China last week, when she discovered a tiny gap and decided to see if she could squeeze through. Although curiosity is highly praised in many ways, we really don't encourage it under certain circumstances, because what happened was that her bottom and breast got stuck in the gap, resulting in her unable to get out. It took 12 firemen about 20 minutes to reach her, and another 30 minutes of lifting and pulling with ropes to get her out. So, what does the story tell us? Don't be a moron and think you can squeeze into 6-inch wide spaces, because you can't. Crane Girl Dangles Over Toronto An adventure-seeking woman was ordered to stay away from rooftops and building sites by a court in Canada after she perched on a construction crane high over Toronto for several hours on Wednesday. Unreleased surveillance camera footage captured 23-year-old Marissa Lazo hanging around the perimeter fence of a building site and looking like she was up to no good at around 2.30 a.m. And up was certainly the direction Lazo was headed. Around an hour later, she was first spotted by members of the public dangling on the end of a crane, 150 feet above the ground. Police and firefighters were called to the scene and a rescue attempt began at around 6.30 a.m. But it took two hours for a repelling firefighter to finally bring her back down to earth. The high climber appeared calm as she was handcuffed by the cops, led to a stretcher, and then loaded into an ambulance. Firefighters believe Lazo climbed along the crane's ladder-like structure to the top, then slid down onto the hook using its cables. One of Lazo's friends said she's an adventure seeker with a head for heights, and it wasn't a shock to see her latest stunt. Lazo is the owner of this Instagram account, which documented her thrill-seeking climbing and rooftopping adventures uh, before it was taken down. Lazo, a dual citizen of the US and Canada, faces six counts of mischief. She was released on bail of 500 Canadian dollars, with conditions that bar her from construction sites and rooftops. She'll be back in court for another hearing on May 17th. Somehow, though, we have our suspicions that Marissa Lazo's high-climbing days are far from over.